Today marks the start of the week-long leadership transition in China. Now, unlike the 2012 US election, which has been the most expensive on record, this leadership change is quieter with a lot less pomp. However, given that the next leader who at this stage is likely to be current Vice President Xi Jinping will see out a term of 10 years, this should strike a chord with the population who are unhappy with a lack of equality in the country. Well, joining me on the line to help provide a bit of clarity on the China election is senior analyst and China specialist Amy Zhuang from Nordia Markets. Amy, thanks for joining me today. Now, we've had the world's biggest economy, the USA, decide on who its leader will be for the next four years. Over the coming week, we're going to see a leadership change in the world's second biggest economy, China. But unlike the popularity of the candidates in the US election, we don't know a great deal about who exactly will feature in China's standing committee, do we? No, not exactly. Um, out of the nine members currently, only two of them will remain their places which says like seven will retire this year. And there is rumor about this nine positions will be reduced to seven, um, which is a possibility. So either it will be five or seven positions to fight for. Um, and we only know two of these uh, the coming leaders. One is the current vice president and another is vice premier. Now, once the leadership transition is complete, it will last for 10 years. What needs to be addressed as far as the health of the country's economy is concerned? The new leadership uh, will certainly need to address the, uh, the, econom the economic issues that China faces, uh, particularly uh, regarding liberalizing the economy, the financial markets, and also on social issues, you know, f more fair uh, income distributions, and also targeting like f increasing food safety and uh, corruption. And there are many issues, both on the economic and also social sciences. There's a lot of talk about China needing to focus on becoming more of a consumption-led economy to really stand out amongst the countries of the world financially. But income distribution amongst its workers is to many unevenly distributed. Uh, this will surely need to be addressed by the next leadership to help balance the economy, won't it? Yes, definitely. Um, there's already increasing you know, social discontent about the leadership, uh, particularly the corruption uh, among officials. So the, the incoming leaders will definitely need to address, um, you know, to increase the distribution of income and uh, to reduce corruption to, uh, to generally, you know, have a fair um, society in China. It's very important to otherwise, in the, in the coming decade, we will see, you know, increasing discontent and probably some social unrest. Now, finally, what are you going to be focusing on in the coming week, Amy? And what are you expecting in the near term once the leadership transition is complete? Well, in the coming week during the Congress, uh, the most important thing to look, uh, look for is probably the line up of this standing committee, uh, which we don't know whether will be seven or nine members. Um, so it's, uh, we have a handful of senior officials uh, to be the most likely candidates. And uh, they differ um, very much from each other in their political orientations. Some of them are very liberal, very pro-market. So they will be uh, advocate strongly for reforms um, in China. And uh, some others are more conservative and uh, we prefer to maintain the state throw in, in the economy. So the, it's, uh, it's very different and uh, depending on you know, whether the liberal or the conservative will be the majority in the standing committee. It is very uh, important to, you know, it's crucial for China's future in the next decade. Um, but I don't expect any major reforms to be, um, to be launched right after uh, the power handover. Actually, I wouldn't expect any tangible reform plans to be announced during the, uh, the, the Congress because it's not really the style of the party. Um, during the party, probably most of the time, um, the current leadership and the coming leadership will stress you know, how successful China's policies have been and, um, and, um, and the more like the actions should be expected. Um, but the more important and uh, 
uh, yeah, important reforms will actually be announced and undertaken uh, a year from now. OK, thanks for sharing your expertise with us, Amy. That's all for now. I'll be back tomorrow where my guest from BBVA will be discussing a selection of currency pairs with me. To find out which ones we'll be discussing, you'll have to tune in and watch. Until then, though, goodbye.